Well, arriving in uh, Tokyo, my first stop was in Rapungi. It was um, my first taste of Japan. Um, after um, sites, doing a bit of sightseeing in Tokyo, I um, then left for uh, Hokkaido. So I arrived in uh, Sapporo, my first stop in Hokkaido, and uh, there they have a snow festival. Hi, <laughs> Snow and ice sculptures. Uh, I had never seen the lights before. The city, uh, you know, fine big city, modern, and uh, it's the home of beer, the support of beer. Um, and, uh, I took a small sample of that, not too much. <laughs> From Sapporo, we then travel uh, with my unique Japan tour guide. We travel to Kashiro. Uh, um, our, our hotel was the Crown Plaza. Uh, very nice hotel. Uh, Overlock into port. In Fushiro, they have these cranes and a red, red crown crane. Uh, they, um, a fabulous bird, the size of maybe a swan, but they have human uh, characteristics that they start stand quite tall and they do a dance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to see them was a quite an early start. Uh, um, 4 a.m. start to catch them, see them do uh, flight and dance uh, on a riverbed uh, at, at, at dawn. We also visited them in a sanctuary where they uh, paired them off uh, to breed and to, um, you know, to, to ensure that the species survive. We then went out for a, a, some food and some drinks. There we, we met a few local ladies uh, and you know had great fun. And of course photographs had to be taken and uh, great great fun. From Kashiro we then travelled to Akan, which is the home of the Aino uh, tribe, which is um, an indigenous tribe of Hokkaido. Their features are quite quite similar to uh, maybe Maori or Polynesian in in look. Uh, the small town has a um, lovely, uh, lovely street with wooden buildings and they, their crafts are all wooden, wooden crafts for sale. Um, also, uh, to the rear of our hotel is a frozen lake. Whereby, where you can um, do fishing through a small hole in the lake, ice fishing. On arrival on Akan, we stayed in a fabulous hotel, uh, going in the front door to be wowed by Japanese ladies dressed in kimono dresses and bowing profusely and, and greeting us. So, Really, for you felt you felt so special. There are um, hot springs there, and that overlook or part of the lake, and that with baths and saunas and hot baths and saunas and uh, steam rooms and whatever. Uh, the only 
the only uh, difference between this and one in Ireland would be that uh, you go around naked with with with, uh, with ladies uh, working in it. <laughs> <laughs> mind it's their own business. <laughs> uh, uh, another a feature of the hotel was also that uh, they had an ensign on the, uh, in the um, um, uh, at the ground level, on uh, at the level of the lake, and they also had one on the tenth floor. Uh, the, the, the men would be in the basement while the women were on the tenth floor, and vice versa. Um, eight hours later, we then. Went to a, a I, I know, I know show, uh, the indigenous people, uh, and we had a, we watched uh, the performance for about half an hour. We went for a few beers in a local bar on our way back to the hotel and uh, stumbled in on on four guys from Okinawa Islands, which are the most southern islands of Japan. Uh, well, we didn't have to buy too much beer. They were uh, more than generous and friendly and taking pictures and whatever. And uh, good Irish crack was had by the Japanese. We left Akan and we headed up to Lake Kishiro, uh, whereby um, another frozen lake but the unique part of this lake was that there was um, uh, an outdoor on sand uh, with hot, hot water at the edge of a frozen lake uh, where you could strip off and go in into the lake but, but, and share it with um, whooper swans. Now, the whooper swans were enjoying the, the warm and hot water as much as um, uh, the public were. And, uh, we had, Terrific uh, opportunity, photo opportunities and video opportunities, playing around with the, the, the swans. Um, uh, the, the road trip from Lake Kisharo to Abishiri, which was our next stop, was stunning and spectacular through up, up mountains, up mountainside and down into, down into the port of Abishiri. Uh, on checking into our hotel, uh, dump our bags, and we then had a trip on an icebreaker, a boat that brought us out on the sea, which was um, covered with fresh water ice that flowed down from a, a river in Russia. The wow factor to this was that it was um, a seaside beach with frozen ice right up to the, the coastline. And this, this icebreaker boat brought you out through all this ice, which was the ice uh, was all covered with snow and it looked like um, a, moon, a, moon, uh, a lunar landscape, but ice and snow. Again in Abishiri, they had their own miniature little snow festival, quite similar to the one in Shapur, uh, but obviously a lot smaller. Uh, they had a, a little maze. Uh, Bit from snow, and they had um, the the usual big display of, of snow carvings and, and ice carvings. Uh, little, little little men, um, cartoon characters made out of snow. The next morning, we leave the hotel and we go to a a prison, which allegedly is the Alcatraz of Japan. Prison had. You know, it was a fairly uh, stunning prison in the sense that uh, the size and scale of it, with, with um, the, 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 it showed the wings, the, or it showed the, the, the cells and solitary confinement, the thing all done in wood, and um, yeah, it was a bit unique. Uh, the prison also had its own far, farm and vegetable. Uh, garden whereby they could grow all the various uh, foods that they would need in the prison. Uh, so they had their machinery, all wooden plows, all wooden drill and sores and all the, the paraphernalia that goes with the farm. We went to a lighthouse that uh, would, would be similar to a lighthouse we'd have back home but um, on arrival at the lighthouse we see um, like 
uh, dunes and rough grasses, but the panoramic view out over ice and, and snow, um, you know, it's fairly unique. Uh, looking out on a sea of, of snow and ice right up to the coastline. Um, uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, views and, and scenery. So from there we went down to the train station where we boarded an old train and we headed out along the coastline. You can see the, the ice and the snow right up to the coastline and uh, arrive at an old station. It was a short little trip, but it was kind of going back in time, you know, what the trains were like, what the old stations were like, and stepping out, uh, there's a, uh, a watchtower where you can go up and take videos and photographs of the, the track down below and it running along the edge of the coastline. Uh, we got a taxi anyway back into town where they had a, a street festival with um, food and beer and all the uh, the locals having a good time. Yeah, stalls with meat and vegetables, uh, raw meat and vegetables, and you, you purchase a little bit of whatever food you want. And they had, uh, a, and the streets were lined with um, little barbecues. And you sat down and you cooked your food and drank your beer, uh, and uh, with the locals, uh, we we met up with. Uh, uh, two families with their kids and sat down with them and we had great fun with them laughing and, and thing and they sharing their sauces and their vegetables and uh, and their food and the table next door off were giving us um, some of their food and uh, yeah we we, uh, we we had great fun Left out the heaven bit. Okay, Hokkaido. This Hokkaido. Okay. We can put it in after, but let's keep going on this one. <laughs> <laughs> 